catalyst for change. Today, the African continent is having a lot of problems. And now those problems have become our definitions. And those definitions are now our limitations. A big brain am I out or an am air or how pimu are an am sentinel, far or how ye abenia, a church lane, a chelly sue, and a dear yet here. Now, so see ya, a chelly and a dear, a tiano, and a day about abbe, yet be be sir, am a dear, a barber, a year, ye fapem, nanso, and is a banfa. Nemo, and it is send you on my person, me dummy, a ditcher. There is a happy moment that I want to show you. Just watch this video. Hey, dummy! Are you proud or just playing stupid? No, I'm Forrest Gump. Just run away, Forrest. Run, Forrest! Run away! Hurry! Get the bikes! Hurry up! Let's get it! Come on! Look out, dummy! Here we come! Get you! You see what's going on. Whenever the opposition sees your limitations, he is definitely going to capture over it and take advantage over it. So what you should do is to put an action of whatever that you want to do or wherever you want to reach. If the continent is indeed want to sideline all poverty aside and uh, be well successful and developed. It means there are a lot of things for us to do. When Forrest in the movie was knocked down by the opposition or by the enemy, he never lied on the ground and looking at those people that he stood up. When the girl, his friend, was trying to encourage him by saying, Forest, run! Run! Forest, run! Forest never stand still by watching the enemies. That when the enemies were trying to overtake him, he also tried to put, he also tried to put an effort of where he can find his refuge or safe. And he began to run, though disabled. He is facing a disability moment in his life. But he put that limitation aside and made an effort by running. And when Forrest was running, his motivator kept on shouting on him, Forrest, run. Why? The motivator knew it clearly that Forrest is having a disability moment in his life. And uh, the motivator is not the one who is feeling the pain. All what she can do is to just motivate Forrest. So she kept on motivating Forrest and Forrest also never looked at his situation. He put it aside and began running, running. When Forrest was running, all the bondages broke. He was free. Forrest was free and he got there by escaping his enemies or the opposition. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason This 
is the kind of spirit that the African youth needs. The spirit of never say die until the bones are rotten. The spirit of it is not over until it is over. And when the youth of Africa begins to emancipate and focus on what or where we want to reach to and the kind of succession that we want to have, no matter what may be, we are going to succeed and succeed very well. No matter what we are witnessing today, all what we need is to stop complaining. All what we need is to stop concentrating on the strong man, the heavy knockdown that he is going to knock us down. Whenever we knocked down 77 times, we should stand on our feet 77 times and try to escape the opposition for them to become our friend in future because after our succession, they will have nothing to do than to consider us as their brother. Thank you and find a time and be part of Dead for Knowledge organization. This is DFK Webcasters Television.